Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a, a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and uh, Cancer Rising weekly tarot reading for June 24th to a June 30th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we are going to jump uh, directly to the, uh, to the spread. Alright, so the first card that marks the topic for Cancer Week, that is going to be uh, the Ten of Swords, for what it seems. Second card, which stands for the uh, challenges that Cancer needs to overcome here, that is going to be the Queen of uh, Cups. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the positive aspect for Cancer Week, that is going to be the Two of Swords. And the final one, which stands for the guidance here for Cancer, that is going to be the Three of Cups. A very interesting week, actually. So, uh, just from the uh, outer look here, uh, it seems that you are uh, going to liberate yourself from some negative influence of a person. But let's go once again through the cards. So, we do have Ten of Swords, which is the first one, followed by the challenges here with the Queen of Cups afterwards is going to be the two, the two of swords and the final one is going to be the three of cups so um i want to correct myself it doesn't have to be really a, a negative influence but it is just a, a necessary um departure or a necessary detachment uh, for you cancer to uh, proceed on growing no different for example when a teenager leave his home you know and it's it's difficult for the parents and exactly this is what is going to cause the challenges here but let's not get ahead of ourselves and let's go for the first cards first so we do have the ten of swords <clears throat> and uh as a general topic, Ten of Swords doesn't really have to mean that something bad is to happen. The Ten of Swords, it's a card pointing that a um, not really forceful, but let's say dramatic um, new era is to embark into one's life. Now, um, as this era could be as a negative impact, like for example, a sudden breakup, that is a new era embarking into one's life, you know, but it doesn't look like that that is going to be the case because the positive and uh, the positive aspect and as well, the guidance here are very positive card, cards in a follow up to the Ten of Swords. And in addition, the challenge isn't that big. I mean, it, with the challenge card, it seems that you are doing it very voluntarily here. OK. So that being said, Ten of Swords here points that this week it is a week where you're going to make irreversible actions, some irrevocable decisions as well. So you can provoke that new era, which is actually the dawn you're walking, you are seeing here uh, at the uh, on the horizon. And uh, what I can say in addition is that from a, a standpoint where you're feeling helpless and it's kind of like very stormy here and... Uh, <clears throat> 
you know, you don't have much things to live for. Finally, you are making a, a, a breakthrough that makes you embark a, uh, a, a new phase of your life that is a phase of dawn. Um, no different that, for example, if you accept that you have hit the rock bottom, all right, and there is no more um, a way how you can go downwards. I mean, the only um, the only path for you forward is actually upwards the whole uh, through the precipitous slope, probably. The accompanied card here, that is to be the Eight of Pentacles. So uh, the formation, it is a uh, active enemies actually that we do have. And with the Eight of Pentacles to the Ten of Swords, that is a confirmation that you that you did what you could, all right? You did what you could. Things aren't looking really very uh, promising in the current standpoint that you are finding yourself at. So you make a, a voluntary decision that you need to part ways with that person, Queen of Cups. That could be parting ways with a friend, that could be parting ways with a company and the Queen of Cups, it is actually your boss. And not because the company is treating you bad, not because your boss is an asshole, but because you simply see yourself with no future into this company. That is, for example, it could be also about relationship. You don't see yourself with a future into this relationship and not that the person that you are with is very bad with you. They love you, you know, they treat you well, but it's just not what you want, okay? And so that's why you make that conscious decision that you need to basically sever ties. You got to seek for a better future for yourself. So for you cancers uh, this week, really, it, it, it does look like that is going to be a week where you finally, I would say not exactly waking up yourself, but you finally do what it is. You are doing what it is needed here to uh, cut off this uh, dead weight that you are carrying on that is holding you back and not allowing you to grow further. Uh, the uh, challenge here is going to be the Queen of Cups. Like I said, it is a, a person, a person that you need to leave behind as you make those, uh, these conscious, that conscious dec decision to move on with, uh, with your life. Now, uh, that person, a Queen of Cups is not going to cause an, any issues, uh, on its own. The only challenge here is to overcome the warm feelings that you do have for one another. It could be a very good friend of yours. It could be that colleague that you admire at, at that job. And now as you have to leave the job because you need simply a better place, you hate to leave that person behind, you know, and kind of like you feel like you want to cry. It's because they have been so good with you. It's because, you know, you have shared such a good moments together, but you know, everything has to come to an end and you have to acknowledge the end. So that is going to be the challenge that to, to make peace with the fact that you have to leave this extraordinary person behind simply because your parts are no, are, are no longer um, contiguous. The accompanied card here is going to be the Five of Swords and that is an additional confirmation that you have to uh, basically, uh, how can I place it? It's going to be rough for you. The formation here is a passive neutrals that we have and you may sense that uh, there will be a bit of cruelty the way you do it or rather like that it is quite cruel that you will have to do it. But like I said, these things, I mean, your progress and having that person um, by your side doesn't go hand by hand, okay? And uh, you eventually you have to decide in favor of your own personal progress rather than uh, having someone who is unfortunately slowing you down. Don't don't get me wrong, guys. They don't do it intentionally. It is just because their interests are different than your interests. You know, their their plights are different than your plights. And simply there is no benefit for either of you keeping on uh, this cooperation it's because you simply want different things from one another. It's like no different, for example, if uh, you are in a relationship and you want that really exciting relationship with parties, you know, a lot of sex, for example, having a um, exhilarating experiences, very passionate experiences while your partner wants to settle down, they want family, they want children, they want just this boring routine, you know, and you, you, you love him or you love her, but it is not what you want. So you need to make that conscious decision to leave. 
and it may seem cruel at the start that you have to do it but you gotta do what you gotta do in order to make yourself happy and growing don't you so that leads us to the third card which is about the positive aspect here and that is to be the two of swords so the two of swords actually uh, diminishes a lot of the sense of cruelty and guilt that you may inflict upon yourself saying that actually uh like and it's also a confirmation of the first couple of cards saying that you did what you could i mean you consider all points of view you consider all options available and i it's it's finally the time came that you need to disrupt the balance and that balance needs to be disrupted in order for you to stand off the bench and start doing something to improve yourself because benches in tarot are it does depend what the reading is all about, you know, but benches are about standstill. For example, if you want to settle yourself down, benches as a, um, as a symbol are a good thing, you know. But if you want progress in your life, then benches are a bad thing, meaning that you're going to be uh, toppled into, uh, into one place. And that's not really a, um, a good sign for future performances and for future development. So the Two of Swords here points that you finally recognize, um, you know, that at the end of the day, it all comes to that how, um, how happier you're going to feel moving on forward into the future, you know, and what what kind of a blessings you do have at this current point is going to contribute for your future and unfortunately this person is not one of these uh, blessings the accompanied card here is going to be the nine of pentacles very peculiar combination actually that is a active enemies that we do have here and uh, hmm one second It's, it's very peculiar, actually. So uh, the Nine of Pentacles to the Two of Swords, I do suspect that <clears throat> it, does, uh, it does represent the jump into conquest, okay? Which conquest has nothing to do with your current environment. So it's another, it's another word to say that you need to seek new thrilling experiences which have nothing to do with your current relationship, for example, with your current marriage, for example, or with your current career. Now, the Nine of, uh, the nine of Pentacles actually is also a good sign saying that if you reach an agreement, for example, with, uh, with your partner, let's say, or with your husband or with your boss, uh, it doesn't have to come to that that you need to uh, detach fully. I mean, if you're, for example, you love your job, but uh, the money that you get from it are rather insufficient, you know, you may kind of like reach an, an agreement with your boss that you're going to work just part time and you can get a, a second job that will actually fill up that hole into your budget and you get to uh, have enough money, you know, to face your expenses and you, you get to as well work the job that you really, really like. So uh, we are seeing here some sort of a, a compromise on the decision that you, that you can do. For example, if that is as well the colleague that you need to leave behind, that doesn't mean that you cannot be friends anymore okay i mean you can find a a room for just a, a casual interactions moving along further into the future but it's uh, it's not nearly as you have uh had a, that relationship before where you spend almost all all day uh, all day along together or for example if it is about a that you realize that you have to um break your relationship you uh, actually can reach a term where uh, you may become, uh, you may stay a friend with that person, but again, the empathizement with one another is not going to be nearly as deep as you had it before you broke that relationship. So the final card that we do have for you, Cancer, that is to be the Three of Cups, and it is a guidance card, and uh, the, the card says that you need to share uh, you know, your, uh, your goals and your aims in a sense of that you should not hide it. You should not hide what, you, what decisions or what kind of a uh, conclusion you reach that you need to make a move on forward. For example, <clears throat> if you uh, decide that relationship you are in, it is not what you wanted. There is no reason for you to just keep that in secret for the last minute and, and unnecessary in, uh, inflict a, a severe um, 
damage on the heart of your uh, of your partner you just talk with them you know about how you feel and uh, kind of like lay down the uh, lay down the prerequisites so you can make your move when you are feeling uh, ready for it. Uh, additionally to that the three of cups points that you're gonna face a, a lot of understanding from your friends you know and from the people that you are associating yourself with so uh, the guidance here is to really share your emotions and your feelings with them and it's likely that you're gonna get a lot of support from those people. The accompanied card here that is the five of cups formation it is a passive enemies and it is just a confirmation guys that the support is going to be there even though the, the opinions are going to be very different for example if you are um, <clears throat> let's say walking away from that relationship a friend of yours may think that you are doing a, a stupid things very stupid thing very irrational thing you know they may not be agree with it but because they are your friend they are going to support you through it no matter what so that that being said it will be good you know that you I, like I said, share you know what you uh, what you want and uh, with your friends and with your associates and how you feel as well. Because even though you may not be understood, they will. These people are gonna have your back. So that being said, um, this is uh, your reading, Cancer, for uh, June twenty fourth to uh, June thirtieth, two thousand and nineteen. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, and I hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then. Bye.